What is a leverage buyout? Simply put, it's when you buy a company primarily funded with debt. So if you or your parents have ever bought a house, you've probably done like a teeny tiny little LBO because when you're buying a house, the financing of it looks very similar to what is done with a leverage buyout. So how is that? Well, pretend that we are buying like a $10 million house. Unless you're super, super, super rich, which you probably have to be anyway to buy the $10 million house, you are not going to be putting down $10 million in cash. Instead, you go to the bank and you say, hey, can you lend me some money? And so you might only need to put down say $3 million in cash and the remaining 7 million comes from the bank. And maybe your goal isn't to live in this house. This is an investment property. You wanna buy the house, fix it up, and then sell it for more and make a profit. That is what a private equity firm does. They buy companies with the goal of improving the business and selling it for more than they bought it for and utilize leverage, just debt, to juice up their returns. So the way a private equity firm increases the value of the business is they try to improve the operations. They try to grow sales, they try to cut costs, and this will improve something called EBITDA. Now, EBITDA is a proxy for operating cash flow. You often are going to value the company based off of some multiple of EBITDA. So to put numbers on it, let's pretend you buy this company and it's generating $1 million of EBITDA. You cut costs, you increase the revenues, and now when you go to sell, say five years later, the EBITDA has grown to $1.5 million. Well, now you slap on that same 10 times multiple and now your valuation has gone from $10 million to $15 million. Now, the second thing that's happening over this time period is that the company is generating cash flows. And with those cash flows, they are paying down the debt. So now let's just do some very simple math. You borrowed $7 million from the bank. And over this five-year period, you generated $1 million in cash flows. So you take that $7 million, pay down the 1 million, and you're left with $6 million. Now we wanna calculate the return to the sponsor. And so what the sponsor cares about, they don't care about how much the house necessarily grew. The fact they went from 10 million to 15 million, that's great. But what they care about is the cash that they put in and the cash that they're getting out. Remember, they only put in $3 million of their own cash. How much cash are they getting out? They're going to receive $15 million when they sell the business. They then take six million of that, pay it to the bank, and what they're left with is $9 million. And so this brings us to the final part. We wanna calculate what is the IRR. So what they put in was $3 million. The cash they got out was $9 million. If we look at it over a five-year time horizon, we get that their IRR was 25%.